Lost, which was a TV show uh, created by J.J. Abrams, they ran from 2004 to 2010. It's six seasons, and basically what it's about is it's about um, this group of people who were on this um, flight from um, Australia to California, and they crash land on this remote island in the middle of their flight, and they basically have to survive. And eventually they, like, become accustomed to, you know, being in there, and they eventually, like, build a community and start to, you know, make it a home for themselves. And honestly, this is one of the greatest TV shows I've ever seen next to um, Dexter because of mainly two things. First of all, the idea and the concept I really like. You know, the idea of a bunch of people being stranded on an island. And it kind of makes you think about, you know, what, you, what would you do in that situation, you know what I mean? It's kind of realistic in the sense that, you know, it's basically just everyday people going through, like, this crazy situation, and they have to, you know, try to make the best of it for themselves. And the second thing that's really great about this show is the characters. Every single one of them is compelling and interesting, and you want to learn more about them as the show goes on. And, like, as the show goes on, it does answer a lot more questions. But my three favorite characters have to be um, Jack, played by Matthew Fox, uh, Locke, played by Terry O'Quinn, and Desmond, played by uh, Henry Ian Cusack. And another thing that's great about this show is the suspense. This show is not necessarily like a drama. It's a little bit more of a thriller kind of a show. Because, like, there's a lot of mystery with the island itself. Like, they actually make the island a character in this show. And it's very, you know, interesting history. And also, the tension is very, very good. Very well done. There's a lot of, you know, like, heart-pounding moments and a lot of huge, you know, plot reveals and twists that happen throughout the show. And also, another thing that's great about the show is the first two seasons, seasons one and two. However, seasons three, four, five, and six just are kind of really jumbled and very exposition heavy. You know, they're not as good as seasons one and two. Now, what I meant by over exposition is that in the last few seasons, there's a little way too many flashbacks and way too many um, plot points that are overly explained. Now, in some cases, you know, exposition can be a good thing, but in my opinion, less is more. That's really the primary reason why I like uh, seasons one and two more. And another thing that's not good um, about the later seasons is really um, the villains, um, mainly um, Benjamin Linus and the others, you know them. If, if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. They're really kind of uninteresting villains and very cheesy. And another thing that I really hate about the show, the finale of the fourth season. Because the way the fourth season ends, it kind of ends in a way that makes you feel like the entire series is ending. You know, it ends with pretty good closure, but then like the very last few seconds of the finale of season four just completely do a cop out and, you know, just... Yeah, the finale of season four, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, it's very, very bad. And after I finished season four, I didn't even bother watching five and six because the way season four ends just makes a really big bullshit excuse to have uh, two more seasons. And finally, my last two cons with Lost are, um, there's so much illogical stuff that happens in some of the later seasons, like... In some of the later seasons, things that happen wouldn't necessarily happen in real life. Specifically, like, there are moments in the later seasons where you think, like, major characters die, but for some reason they magically survive. Um, now, I know for a show like this, you really have to suspend your disbelief. And I did for, like, the first few seasons, but by the time it got to, you know, uh, the end of season three, I was just like... And then finally, um, 
my very last con for Lost is the fact that J.J. Abrams only directed the very first episode of the first season. You know, he just directed the pilot and wasn't involved with the show from there. I think if he was, the show would have been better. But, you know, can't always win. But overall, I would recommend Lost to you purely because, like, the stories are, you know, pretty good. The characters are all great. Um, the tension and the suspense are so well pulled off. Um... Michael Giacchino's score in some of the episodes is pretty good. Um, and finally, like I said, just watch seasons 1 and 2 because they're really the only good ones. Season 3 is okay, and season 4 is pretty bad. And then 5 and 6, I don't know since I didn't finish it. I didn't even bother to watch uh, seasons 5 and 6. Um, and also, another thing that I really love about the show overall is how it's like a really good mishmash of all different kinds of genres. There's suspense, there's action, there's drama, there's comedy, there's a little bit of romance sprinkled in there, and, you know, it, it has something for everybody, so that's why I recommend it. So yeah, overall, I will give um, Lost uh, freaking awesome. Okay, see you guys later, bye.